mind waiting to get my nasi padang. Now this place is famous for nasi padang and I always come here for misiam as well. But because it's lunch, I need something substantial. So I'm going to be queuing up to get food. What? I got to queue up what? No special treatment here, okay? The question is, what to have? fish to taste good, you gotta buy it fresh. That's all. Alright, as you can see, this place is an all-rounder. You have all sorts of food here besides nasi padang. And here's a little tip. On weekends, when the outside space gets too crowded, I didn't know this till today. There's actually an upstairs area. Ah, secrets! Now one of the gems to check out when you're in the Arab Street area is Saba Mananti. This place is amazing nasi padang. Celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain is said to be a fan of this place as well. His photo is on the wall. Now Saba Mananti has been around for 50 years and it literally translates into wait patiently. Now the owners of course adopt this uh, wait patiently thing to cook their food because Food that's lovingly cooked with thyme tends to taste better. But because this place is so popular now, Saba Mananti, wait patiently, literally translates into waiting time because queues can get very long here during lunchtime peak hours. But I'm smart. I come slightly off peak hour at about 1.30, so I don't get a queue. No one's fighting for me for food. And I gotta try one of the key dishes here, which is beef rendang. Let's go check it out. Bitter gourd is a great accompaniment to rendang, which can get a bit jalap and lemak. Can I have some rendang, please? Just a little bit. So, I've got a plate of lovingly cooked rendang in front of me. And you know, with rendang, I love a balance of flavors. I would always get bitter gourd or some bitter vegetable to go with it because it can get a bit lemak or a bit gelat, you know? And of course, I gotta have burger deal with this, okay? Starch and starch, we're Asians, man. We love our starch. Okay. Literally rips apart. It's almost like you added chocolate to the mix, you know? It's got a very nice bitter savory to tone to it and the meat is just beautiful. I get the fuss. Now I know what people are talking about this place. This is amazing. We just check the vegetables out. You gotta give bitter gourd a try. I know it sounds bad. Bitter plus gourd. But it's a really good pellet cleanser. Mm. It does its thing. Okay, I gotta be straight here. It tastes really good. I love the sauce, but that took me 50 chews to get it down the throat. It's not as tender as I would like it to be, or not as tender as I thought it would be. Um, so for something like a star dish, I would expect something more. Correct me if I'm wrong, I thought rendang is slow cooked and therefore should be quite tender. Maybe I just came at the wrong time of the day, or maybe the chef had an off day today. Whatever it is, the gravy is still awesome. Overall, I would say Sabah Mananti is a place you should check out and come and eat at when you're around the Arab Street area, when you're doing the whole touristy thing around the Jalan Sultan Mosque. Just come one street away in Kandahar Street and eat here. This has been an amazing day out at Arab Street. There's just too many food places here to check out in one episode, so I got to pick two of my favorites. So I hope you will come and check out my recommendations. Till next time, I'll be back here for sure to review more stuff. This has been Ross from Makan Bites for 987 TV. Have a good one. <laughs>